A constructor that accepts parameters is called the default constructor. A1. B2. C no. D3. The correct answer is. No. What happens when a class with parameterized constructors and having no default constructor is used in a program and we create an object that needs a zero argument constructor? A. Compile time error. B. Preprocessing error. C. Runtime error. D. Runtime exception. The correct answer is. Compile time error. Can a class have virtual destructor? A. Yes. B. No. C. D. The correct answer is. Yes. Destructor has the same name as the constructor and it is preceded by. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is. For automatic objects constructors and destructors are called each time the objects. A. Enter and leave scope. B. Inherit parent class. C are constructed. D are destroyed. The correct answer is. Enter and leave scope. Which constructor function is designed to copy objects of the same class type? A. Create constructor. B. Object constructor. C. Dynamic constructor. D. Copy constructor. The correct answer is. Copy constructor. Which of the following statement is correct? A constructor has the same name as that of the class. B destructor has the same name as that of the class with a tilde symbol at the beginning. C both A and B. D destructor has the same name as the first member function of the class. The correct answer is. Both A and B. Which of the following statement is incorrect? A constructor is a member function of the class. B the compiler always provides a zero argument constructor. C it is necessary that a constructor in a class should always be public. D both B and C. The correct answer is. Both B and C. When are the global objects destroyed? A when the control comes out of the block in which they are being used. B. When the program terminates. C. When the control comes out of the function in which they are being used. D. As soon as local objects die. The correct answer is. When the program terminates. Copy constructor must receive its arguments by. A. Either pass by value or pass by reference. B. Only pass by value. C. Only pass by reference. D only pass by address. The correct answer is. Only pass by reference. A function with the same name as the class but preceded with a tilde character is called of that class. A constructor. B destructor. C function. D object. The correct answer is. Destructor. A union that has no constructor can be initialized with another union of type. A different. B same. C virtual. D class. The correct answer is. Same. Which of the following gets called when an object goes out of scope? A constructor. B destructor. C main. D virtual function. The correct answer is. Destructor. Which of the following statement is correct? A. Destructor destroys only integer data members of the object. B. Destructor destroys only float data members of the object. C. Destructor destroys only pointer data members of the object. D. Destructor destroys the complete object. The correct answer is. Destructor destroys the complete object. Used to make a copy of one class object from another class object of the same class type. A constructor. B copy constructor. C destructor. D default constructor. The correct answer is. Copy constructor. Constructors to allow different approaches of object construction. A cannot overloaded. 
B can be overloaded. C can be called. D can be nested. The correct answer is can be overloaded. Which of the following statement is correct? A. A destructor has the same name as the class in which it is present. B. A destructor has a different name than the class in which it is present. C. A destructor always returns an integer. D. A destructor can be overloaded. The correct answer is A destructor has the same name as the class in which it is present. Which of the following cannot be declared as virtual? A. Constructor B. Destructor C. Data Members D. Both A and C The correct answer is Both A and C If the copy constructor receives its arguments by value the copy constructor would A. Call one argument constructor of the class B. Work without any problem C. Call itself recursively. D. Call zero argument constructor. The correct answer is. Call itself recursively. Which of the following are not provided by the compiler by default? A. Zero argument constructor. B. Destructor. C. Copy constructor. D. Copy destructor. The correct answer is. Copy destructor. It is an error to pass arguments to a destructor. A. Logical. B. Virtual. C. Syntax. D. Linker. The correct answer is. Syntax. If the programmer does not explicitly provide a destructor then which of the following creates an empty destructor? A. Preprocessor. B. Compiler. C. Linker. D. Main function. The correct answer is. Compiler A is a constructor that either has no parameters or if it has parameters all the parameters have default values. A default constructor B copy constructor C both A and B D none of these. The correct answer is default constructor. How many default constructors per class are possible? A only one B two C3. D. Unlimited. The correct answer is. Only one. Which of the following statement is correct about destructors? A. A destructor has void return type. B. A destructor has integer return type. C. A destructor has no return type. D. A destructor's return type is always same as that of main. The correct answer is. A destructor has no return type. Which of the following statement is correct? A. A constructor has the same name as the class in which it is present. B. A constructor has a different name than the class in which it is present. C. A constructor always returns an integer. D. A constructor cannot be overloaded. The correct answer is. A constructor has the same name as the class in which it is present. Which of the following implicitly creates a default constructor when the programmer does not explicitly define at least one constructor for a class? A. Preprocessor B. Linker C. Loader D. Compiler The correct answer is Compiler A destructor takes arguments A1 B2. C3. D. No. The correct answer is. No. Destructor calls are made in which order of the corresponding constructor calls? A. Reverse order. B. Forward order. C. Depends on how the object is constructed. D. Depends on how many objects are constructed. The correct answer is. Reverse order. Which of the following never requires any arguments? A. Member function. B. Friend function. C. Default constructor. D. Const function. The correct answer is. Default constructor. A class is called when an object is destroyed. A. Constructor. B. Destructor. C. Assignment function. D. Copy constructor. The correct answer is. Destructor. 
destructors for automatic objects if the program terminates with a call to function exit or function abort. A are called. B are inherited. C are not called. D are created. The correct answer is. Are not called. Which of the following statement is correct? A. A constructor of a derived class can access any public and protected member of the base class. B. Constructor cannot be inherited but the derived class can call them. C. A constructor of a derived class cannot access any public and protected member of the base class. D. Both A and B. The correct answer is. Both A and B. Which of the following statements are correct? A. Constructor is always called explicitly. B. Constructor is called either implicitly or explicitly whereas Destructor is always called implicitly. C. Destructor is always called explicitly. D. Constructor and Destructor functions are not called at all as they are always in line. The correct answer is. Constructor is called either implicitly or explicitly whereas destructor is always called implicitly. How many times a constructor is called in the lifetime of an object? A. Only once. B. Twice. C. Thrice. D. Depends on the way of creation of object. The correct answer is. Only once. Which of the following gets called when an object is being created? A. Constructor B. Virtual function C. Destructor D. Main The correct answer is Constructor To ensure that every object in the array receives a destructor call always delete memory allocated as an array with operator A. Destructor B. Delete C. Delete D. Kill the correct answer is delete. Which of the following statement is correct about constructors? A. A constructor has a return type. B. A constructor cannot contain a function call. C. A constructor has no return type. D. A constructor has a void return type. The correct answer is a constructor has no return type. Which of the following statement is correct whenever an object goes out of scope? A. The default constructor of the object is called. B. The parameterized destructor is called. C. The default destructor of the object is called. D. None of the above. The correct answer is. The default destructor of the object is called.